we're going to begin this section by discussing a topic that is likely a review for most of you. We're going to review how to graph an equation by hand. We'll begin with a review of the steps for graphing an equation. Step one is to solve the equation for y. Next, you need to make a table of values, including at least three points. And finally, you want to remember that if the highest power of x in the equation is 1, the graph will be a line. If the highest power of x in the equation is 2, then the graph will be a parabola. Let's begin with an example. Suppose that we want to graph y is equal to 2x plus 5. Keep in mind that this equation has already been solved for y. So we're ready to start the problem by making a table of values. Recall that we said that we should use three values in our table. You are free to select any x value that you want and then plug that value into the equation to solve for y. It is a good idea to select a positive x value, a negative x value, and zero. So I'm going to go ahead and put negative 1, 0, and positive 1 for my x's. If you'd rather use something else, that's fine. Once I've decided on my x values, I'm now going to plug those into my equation. So I'm going to plug in the negative 1 in place of the x right here. So I'm going to have 2 times negative 1 plus 5 which is going to give me negative 2 plus 5, which is going to give me 3. I'm now going to plug 0 in for the x in the equation. So that's going to give me 2 times 0, which is 0, plus 5, which is going to be 5. And then finally, I'm going to plug a 1 in for x in the equation. So 2 times 1 plus 5. 2 times 1 is 2. Plus 5 is going to give me 7. Then I'm going to go to my graph, and I'm going to plot those three points. So the point negative 1, 3 will move to the left 1, and up 3 and place a point. 0, 5 will stay at the origin and go up 5 and place a point. And then 1, 7 will go to the right 1 and up 7 and place a point. Remember that our hint said that if the highest power of x in the equation is a 1, it should graph a line. Now when I look at my equation, I do not see a power at all, but remember that if we don't have a power, then we assume that that power is 1. And so this should graph a line, which it does appear to do, so I'm going to go ahead and connect those three points, making a straight line. I'm going to place an arrow on the end of each part of the line, which indicates that it keeps continuous in both directions. Our next equation, y is equal to x squared. This one is also already solved for y, so all we need to do is make our table of values and plot our points. Again, it is a good idea to choose a positive, a negative, and zero for your x values. So I'm going to select negative 2, 0, and positive 2. But again, you can select whatever you'd like. When I plug the negative 2 in for the x in my equation, I'm going to have negative 2 squared, which becomes a positive 4. Next, I'm going to plug 0 in for x in my equation. 0 squared is 0. And then finally, I'm going to plug the 2 in for x in the equation. 2 squared is equal to 4. Now we'll go to our graph and we'll plot our points. Negative 2, 4. 
zero, zero, and two, four. Again, remember our hint, which said that if the highest power of x in the equation was a two, it should graph a parabola. And remember that a parabola looks kind of like a u. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and sketch out that parabola. and place an arrow on the both ends of the graph. That arrow simply means that the graph continues in both directions. Our last example asks us to graph 6x squared plus 3y is equal to 36. This equation is not solved for y, and so that needs to be our first step. So to get y by itself on one side of the equation, I'm going to begin by subtracting the 6x squared from both sides of the equation. So that will cause it to cancel here, leaving me the 3y is equal to 36 minus 6x squared. Then I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So that's going to give me y is equal to, because the threes will cancel here, and I'm going to go ahead and break this up so that each term is over three, so that I can simplify it a little easier. So the 36 is over three, and the 6x squared is over three. So my equation becomes y is equal to 12 minus 2x squared. So now that we have our equation solved for y, the next step is to make our table of values. Again, choose a positive, a negative, and zero. So in this case, I'm going to pick positive 1, 0, and negative 1. But again, you can select any number that you want. So if I plug a positive 1 into my equation for x, I have 12 minus 2, and plugging in for x, I'm going to have 1 squared. So simplifying this, I'm going to have 12 minus 2 times 1, which is equal to 12 minus 2, which is equal to 10. If I plug a 0 into the equation, I'm going to have 12 minus 0, because 0 squared is 0, and 0 times 2 will still be 0, which is going to give me 12. And then finally, if I plug a negative 1 into the equation, I'm going to have 12 minus 2. Negative 1 squared is going to be positive 1. So I'm going to have 12 minus 2, which also will equal 10. So now we go to our graph and we're going to plot our points. So I'm going to place the point at 110. I'm going to place a point at 0, 12, which is actually going to be a little bit off my graph. I'm just going to put it right up here at the top. And then negative 110. Now again, remember that our hint tells us that if the highest power in the problem is a 2, it's going to be a parabola, which will be a U-shaped. And I can see that on this. It's turned upside down, but I can see that U-shape 
and that'll just help you to draw it a little more efficiently. And so now we have the graph of 6x squared plus 3x is equal to 36.